Hello, friends, and what a joy it is to be able to come back into your presence today to share with you a ray of hope by way of coffee and conversation. A great way to get this Good Friday started, a fresh cup of hot coffee. Yes, it is Good Friday, my friend, and we have celebrated the Holy Week all week long. In John's Gospel, chapter 19, verse 30, the Bible says, Jesus said, it is finished, and he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. My friend, Good Friday, a day that is good for us because salvation is born. Good Friday calls us to do what the disciples could not do that particular day. Good Friday calls us to join Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and John at the foot of the cross of Calvary. Good Friday invites us to enter that most excruciating moment of standing in our own impotence, unable to stop the dying. This day calls us to the steadfastness of being present with the Lord Jesus and with one another in those harrowing moments of suffering and death. We are called this day to wait for the moment when Jesus bows his head and gives up his spirit. We are called every day to, uh, to be present in that way to one another. Some will discover a gift of nursing. Others may have a chaplaincy ministry involved in hospice work or some other type of work where you can reach into the lives of the hurting. Others will have the ability to be with others whose lives are torn to ragged shreds by violence or war or natural disaster. Still others will discover the deep-rooted compassion that comes with living through grief and tragedy, seeing anew the suffering that surrounds us every minute, though hidden by the glitz and glimmer of our society. A mystery is revealed to us this day. The mystery of divine love that permeates every moment of human life and experience. This day we are brought to the foot of the cross to see, as early church writers reported, God's cheerfulness in this self-offering. The face of divine love shines through the Lord Jesus' dying flesh. And God's own life in Jesus is united to ours. My friend, the Word became flesh and lived among us, as John declares in John 1, 14, in a way far beyond our human capacity to know or to understand, God is in Christ, knowing our sufferings from the inside and out, hallowing the blood and the sweat and the tears, converting the cross from an instrument of death to a tree of life. Yes, Jesus said, while walking this earth, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And now the abundant life is birth that we can live forevermore. He took, my friend, a cross, an instrument of death, and made it into a tree of life. All we have to do is come to him, believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder to those who diligently seek him. Seek him while he may be found. Father, today, thank you for the birth of our salvation. And now, Lord, help us live that out by pointing others to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless you on this Good Friday. Hey, go out into your world and make a big difference, remembering that your life may be the only Bible that some will ever read. Let others see the Lord Jesus in you. Have a great day.